In this video, you will know, number one, the answer to the question, what is the 9 volt charge detector? Its difference over other charge detectors such as the left electroscope. Number two, how to make the said device from the given materials and schematic diagram. Number three, how to use the device in identifying two kinds of charges. What is the 9 volt charge detector? It is a device designed to detect very weak electric charges. It has similar function to the left electroscope in laboratories of high school and colleges. It is powered by a 9 volt battery. The battery is necessary for the red LED indicator to function and for the three transistors to function as current amplifiers and switch. How sensitive is this device? The three transistors amplify very weak current in the nanoamperes range up to the milliamperes range. The red LED or light emitting diode consumes about 4 milliamperes and the current induced in the wire antenna is in the range of 10 nanoamperes. So an amplification of more than 10 million is needed. That is why three transistors are needed. How sensitive are the left electroscopes? They operate in the microampere range, a current 1,000 times bigger than the nanoampere. They are not as insensitive as the 9 volt charge detector. They do not have current amplifiers. Furthermore, they stop functioning during very humid weather conditions. You see a picture of the left electroscope. Now, I will show to you the schematic diagram of the 9 volt charge detector. Note that it is using one NPN transistor, two PNP transistors, one resistor, one light emitting diode, and one 9 volt battery. Take note that the short wire antenna is also shown. Next is the whole numbers and junctions, seven junctions shown in the schematic diagram, both in figure one and figure two. The three transistors also are identified, the nine volt battery also, but take note that figure two is the whole orientation diagram and figure one is just the schematic diagram. There are 15 holes to be punched and seven junctions to be soldered. They are junctions A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. While the numbers in figures 2, 1 to 15, are the holes. So you follow this very carefully. Some pictures of some needed materials labeled. These are the battery, the resistor, the transistors, and the plastic enclosure. Now the main purpose of this video, making the 9 volt charge detector, Con construction instructions, prepare a 25 mm by 30 mm rectangular step plastic sheet to serve as the circuit board. Number 2, punch 16 small holes in the circuit board using a pointed nail. Please see the orientation of the holes in figure 2. 
Number three, insert the three transistors, the resistor, and the light emitting diode to the respective holes. Insert also the battery connector and the short wire antenna. Number four, bend the transistor leads, the transist resistor leads, the light emitting diode leads, the battery connector, and the antenna wire to make the seven desired junctions. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Number five, carefully solder the leads connected to a junction starting from junction A to junction G. Number six, using a diagonal cutter, cut the extra length of the leads. Number seven, connect the nine volt battery and insulate the seat up from the table top. Number eight, using a plastic ball pen and a plastic seat, charge the plastic ball pen and move it near and away the wire antenna. The light emitting diode must be lighting on and off as the charge ball pen pass the wire antenna. Number nine, mount the completed assembly into a suitable plastic enclosure. The charge detector is now ready for powder testing using other sources of charges such as the electrical outlets and switches. Number 10. You may keep the assembled equipment with the 9 volt battery connected to it. This equipment does not draw any current if the light emitting diode is not lighting. The battery must last for about a year even though it is inside the plastic enclosure. A test of to determine the two kinds of charges. The black the plastic ball pin was rubbed to the plastic sheet. So when I bring it near the antenna, I try to observe its lighting, no the LED display is lighting. That is positive charge. The ball pin has positive charge. But when I brought the plastic that was rubbed to the bullpen near, it does not light. But when I brought it away, it starts to light. There. So that is negative charge.